Flynn V Bold was designed to have three options, or could say four different models. Now the option one is VTOL tear throttles. Now it was designed to have very reliable structures for display and uh, specifically customized tear server for the VTOL tear throttle. Now another option is four plus one. This is the four plus one structures. Now, option three is if you don't want to fly VTO error, this play can also be as a traditional dual motor and single pushers. I will introduce this in futures, but today I'm only showing you the VTO error tier rod and 4 plus 1. Now, next step, let's learn more about the video bolts. Maybe you have some questions to ask uh, how, how about the structures, and uh, I will show you more. In details, uh, to one, let to see the brand new fuse nut from the box is the same as you unbox uh, a new shipping box. Now, this is the mapping module. Uh, you can keep it removable or glue this two fuse together uh, with a t this major the size of the fuse nut uh, is 135. This is 100. And here, this is 140 millimeter. So, okay, let's uh, close this. Now, this field that has, has tons of space uh, for your battery and camera and the front controllers. Uh, let's see the, how the size is. The size is uh, 600 millimeters length. 600 millimeters. And I took uh, a battery. This is uh, 60,000, 16,000 uh, milliampere. 6 s I can see the battery can be moving forward and backward to balance the CG. There's around uh, 15 or 16 millimeters free space for the battery to move in forward and backward. <laughs> now here is the pre-designed location for the flight controller and the kit is very included in the payload. You can see the front part of the jet rod and the 4 plus 1 is almost the same the same length, but uh, the rear part, 4 plus 1 is short and the tail rod is longer. This is because of the pusher preparers limited. So the 4 plus 1 only limited to 12 inch preparers, but the tail rotors can be bigger preparers and it can be 15 inch preparers. So people always ask it, uh, which one is better? Actually, there is no one better or no one better. But concerned about, uh, uh, about the thrust because the tail rod can use 50 inch preparers. It can provide much more thrust for the plays and it can be maximum up to 6 kilograms for the tail rod. But the 4 plus 1 are limited to be less than 5 kilograms. So personally, I would choose to use the tail rod because of the much more thrust supply to the, this place. Now because the airplane structure is the same, so I take the tail rod as an example to introduce. Now the vehicle was designed to be integrated. So what is integrated? You can see from the fuse now. All arms and the VTO air parties are together, no need to break down. Uh, this is a simplified design. Three K cup arms passing through the main body. Now, looks like a simplified configuration, but very strong and safer than others. You see the two three K cup to reinforce the fuse nut passing through the whole fuse nut. And this is a brand new twin tail tap designs. Impressions by other twin tail players, this is the big point. 
always likely to be correct. But Mitterbold is a tough man. We have tested it is, it is still intact even after an uh, accident. After this accident, not quack. And you see the sole wires, the motor wires, and the bottom of this CNC parties uh, passing through the carb tubes. It's clean and lit. And this is the CNC parties for the tetra waters. It has also been proved very strong. After that accident, the motor has been broken and the shaft was gone, but the red CNC parties is still good. This red CNC parties is still good and we move it to a new place to fly again. And this one is exactly what I took from that crash plane. And the bottom of the fuser there is a tunnel here. The motor power wires are passing through the tunnel and coming out from the top top ESC base. Now this is the ESC base. Uh, it was pre-designed has air in it and outlet to cool the ESC. I recommend to twist the wires to a thread wire like this. Now this is good to resist electromagnetic interference. Now you see the ESC power wires are please put it as backward as possible. The ESC power is passing through here, push it backward as possible because you, you be careful to interference to the GPS module and the compass. And I'll fix it to both sides. This is the GPS module uh, and the compass here. Now this is the prop fry connections designs. Uh, you can solder those solar wires, the VTX wires, and the receiver wires to the light pin connectors. Every time when you want to fry, you just prop and fry. Break down, take pull it out. That easy. It's unnecessary to connect any wires. Now this is the control surface, a uh, cup strip to reinforce it, and the uh, metal hinge. It is only two gram, but it is very strong. And the main way is plugging in to the fuse nut, plug and fry, and break down. Is that easy? No need wires and connectors. So I would like to introduce you the brand new design of the twin tail. What? Why it is brand new? Because uh, there is no wires required like the others. Now the, it has plug and fry design. But uh, I knew somebody still, I don't trust this because uh, of a previous experience or some other factory's uh, product, it's not that good. In case anyone still don't want to try the new plug, it has uh, extension wires, you can connect elevators as the traditional did, use the wires. But now, uh, without testing how is the performance of this uh, brand new designs, actually we have done a lot of testing. Even uh, after crash, we still use the crash tear parties to try a new place. It still works very good. Thank you. 